Tell you who will not be part of the teaser rotation for me this week, despite us asking for it, is the Houston Texans. They are two-point home dogs against the New England Patriots. Patriots two-point favorites on the road, a total of 48 and a half. The last time we saw the Patriots, they were beating the Ravens, and everybody was saying, okay, maybe I undershot this uh, – this this Patriots team, I think it was a little bit of both. I think we might have undershot this Patriots team, and I think we might have like kept this Ravens team in such high regard, and maybe, maybe they didn't deserve as much praise as we were giving them, uh, Brad. So anyway, this Houston, Texas team, been about one of the most frustrating teams on the face of the planet. I know all three of us at times this year have bet on this team only to uh, come out disappointed. Uh, so how do we sit here? New England Patriots, two-point favorites, 48.5 is your total. Uh, yes, I had a quite a chunky bet on the over here. Um, so we, if we start with when Houston got the ball, um, this is a this is a top five quarterback, um, Deshaun Watson by, by PFF grade, and, and they've been a lot better. They've been tenth uh, in, EPA, in EPA EPA per play since um, since Bill O'Brien walked out the door. Um, been passing more on early downs, which we like. Um, and obviously last week they looked terrible, ten points against Cleveland, but that was forty miles an hour wind. Um, we're back to a dome here. And then it's it's a bit of a similar story with the Patriots offense. Um, you know, their season long numbers don't look great. But Cam was talking this week about COVID and how when he came back he he was struggling to process mentally. Um so we can kind of I feel like we can get rid of those games there. Um they played in the in the in the rain last week as well. They played in a win game in in Buffalo. So mm. I think both of the, if you look at the season long numbers for these offenses, they, they don't look that good. But if you just look over the last three weeks, they're both top 10. Um, and then you've got two bottom 10 defenses. Um, so, you know, nowadays the NFL to- average total in dome is kind of 51 and a half ish. Um, and we've got this three points below that. And I think we've got two top 10 offenses and two top 10 defenses. So uh, I, th- I thought the over was a, a nice look. So, Brett, we're looking at a situation that's very weird where I think an injury might have actually been good for a team. Um, You know, we don't wish injury on anyone, but Julian Edelman going down actually kind of made Jacoby Myers a thing, which has given Cam a consistent target that is not, you know, again, we I say this every week, but it's not a five foot nine you know, basically slot receiver that is that is not the number one target now. And Jacoby Myers has, has lived up to this number one role pretty well so far this year, and Cam seems to trust him a ton. Um, they're, they've been able to move the ball uh, against some what people consider to be some really good defenses. And so uh looks like they are going to get Stephon Gilmore back this week. So if that bothers you guys from a passing aspect or not, I don't really know. But, you know, Patriots, we know what they want to do. They want to run first and foremost, but they, you know, if they have to throw the ball, Cam is 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 allowed to throw the ball. And we know what this Texans defense does very well, and that is allow people to run the ball on them. Uh, they are dead last DVOA run defense in all of the NFL. Pro Football Focus agrees they are 28th run defense, according to them as well. They are giving up a ton of rushing yards a game, 167 a game, this Texans team is giving up. So it seems as if the Patriots should be able to move the ball. Yeah, I'm I'm with you guys. I love the over here. New England's just, they're such a tough team to cap. Uh, According to Football Outsiders, they have the third most variance in overall performance week to week. And that's evident in results like last week where they just show up and win outright as as touchdown underdogs. Uh, And Mm -hmm. a lot of that has to do with Cam and his inconsistencies. They have the highest variance offense in the NFL, according to DVOA. So this is a team that, I'm probably just going to fade off a win like that, especially in a spot where weather added even more variance to that game. And the look ahead on this was Houston minus two and a half. It moved four plus points through zero off that win uh, for the Patriots last week. And meanwhile, the Texans lost in a weather game that they covered uh, a game that gave them a negative advantage against one of the best run teams in the NFL. So this line move feels like too much. A lot of recency bias here for a Pats team that really has not, been good all year uh but I, i'm with you guys I, I think both these teams will find success on offense in the spot houston passes the ball well uh the patriots have not been able to stop anybody really uh through the air and houston dead last and run defense dv away and that's what the patriots do well so i i love the over here and i will i will have the texans on my circuit card and i probably will bet them as as dogs here as well 
Interesting. I think I'd come in the other way on uh, on this. And I, I don't it's not in the account yet. But if I had to bet this on a side, I think I would take the Patriots. I mean, it's uh, we saw what the Browns did last week. They ran for 231 yards against this Houston team. And they knew the run was coming every single time. Like you couldn't throw in 50 mile an hour wins. They you knew they were going to run the ball every single down and they still gave up 200 and 31 yards to the Cleveland Browns last week. Uh, the Patriots average 161 rush yards a game. As we just mentioned, the Bra- the Texans give up 167 yards per game on the ground, which is worse in the league. Uh, I think the Patriots are going to be able to kind of control this game and and do kind of what they want to. Getting Gilmore back out there on the defensive side of the ball, really, really good to combat what Deshaun Watson's able to do. And so um, – I think I'm going to be oppo on you here, Brett, when it. it comes to the cir- when it comes to the circa card, and uh, I don't know if it will actually make my account or not, but we shall we shall see. There are still a couple of days until until this goes off. 